Hey, welcome back to Bright Arrays. This week we are looking at Genesis uh, 36, 1 through 43, the entire chapter of chapter 36. And this is called the Book of Edom, because that is the title of this chapter. All right, so let's get into the introduction here and talk about what's going on here. Now, Genesis chapter 36 is one of those passages that, uh, you know, people often skim over. Because it's a lot of genealogies, lots of names, some of them are hard to pronounce, and we're unfamiliar with the people, and so we just kind of skim through it. It's not a chapter that lends itself to an easy application, and so it's tempting to kind of just blow right past it. However, we know that this is God's Word, and He doesn't do anything without a purpose, so these are here for a reason. He had Moses write this down for a good reason. And so we'll press on through this passage with the hopes that God will teach us something about mankind and about himself. Now, I've kind of treated this chapter as if it, if I was like a tour guide. You know, I'm taking you through this, going to point out some interesting facts along the way, and uh, take a look at the list of names and some of the short phrases that are in there, and just kind of point out some uh, interesting things that are in this text. And hopefully you get to see, because there's not really you know a lot of exposition out of a bunch of names, um, except for what you're seeing where these names and people are coming from and what the reason is that they're here. So there are several natural breaks in the passage, but I'm going to limit us to four this time. And uh, so first we'll look at a list of Esau's wives in verses one through eight. And um, that's followed by a list of Esau's descendants in 9 through 19. Then comes a genealogy of Seir, the, the Horite, and we'll think about um, you know, why that is here in this chapter. Why did Moses put in a list of you know, names of the, the, the descendants of Seir the Horite? Why is that there? Uh, it's not Esau. It's not Jacob's family, so you know, why is that there? So we're going to look at that. And then finally, we'll read about the kings of Edom in verses 20 through 43 and uh, consider uh, what that is all about and how that relates to the rest of the book and to uh, Jacob and his story that we've been talking about here. So come back next time. We'll start off with Esau's wives in verses 1 through 8.